Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW Personal Points. I'm really excited for today's video. I am featuring two recipes. Both of them are casseroles, both of them are family, family friendly, kid friendly, low in the ingredient list, and super, super delicious. A little bit of comfort food vibes in these two recipes. So if you're excited for a, a double recipe video, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not because I do upload lots and lots of new videos every week and make sure your bell is turned on so you never miss a future upload. Check out that description box down below for nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized to you macros and calories. Highly recommend. It's how I've been able to lose over 100 pounds and one-on-one -on -one coaching if you'd like to chat with me directly. Links, discounts to all of my favorite things, and lastly, come on over, join us on Facebook. We'd love to have you. So let's jump into these two recipes. For tonight's dinner, I am making a hamburger casserole, kind of like a goulash. This is a super super simple, affordable, family-friendly recipe. So let me show you what's in dinner. First, you're going to need a pound of ground beef. I have 93.7, you could do 96.4. Salt, pepper, and garlic powder. You'll need some shredded mozzarella, light shredded cheese, a can of Healthy Request or low-fat tomato soup. And then for pasta, of course, I'm using Fiber Gourmet. This is going to save you a ton of calories, a ton of points, and it is such amazing pasta. So this is the light rotini. It's it's only 100 calories for a two ounce serving versus over 200 calories. 25 grams of fiber, 17 net carbs, and seven grams of protein. The taste, the texture, everything about this pasta is absolutely the best. So I will link Nutrition down below for you, which is where I buy the pasta. It is the most affordable and they have all the different shapes of pasta available. So that is everything in tonight's dinner. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to do is get some water coming to a boil for your pasta and then grab out a skillet so we can add our ground beef, salt, pepper, and garlic powder. Once your hamburger is cooked through, we're going to add in our can of tomato soup. We're also going to add half of a cup of water. Give that a quick stir just to mix in the tomato soup. I have three quarters of a cup of light shredded cheese and three quarters of a cup of light mozzarella cheese. We're going to add about half of the cheese directly to the hamburger. And then give that another stir. We want to allow it to warm all the way through and for that cheese to melt. Once your pasta is done, go ahead and drain it and then add it directly to the rest of the mixture. Stir that up and we're ready to add it to our baking dish. Oh, and by the way, my oven is preheated to 350 degrees. Into your 9 by 13 baking dish sprayed with nonstick cooking spray, we're going to add all of the pasta. Spread that out nice and even into the bottom of the baking dish. And then we're going to sprinkle the rest of our shredded cheese right on top. Cover it with some foil and it's going to go in the oven for about 20 minutes. I did want to share out a tip with you guys. If you wanted to up your vegetable game in tonight's dinner, you could add some chopped up diced up veggies into this. Your family would probably be none the wiser and it would be a really, really good way to sprinkle in some extra veggies. But for our veggies tonight, I actually cut up the rest of the asparagus that I had in my refrigerator. I have some avocado oil here. I'm just going to drizzle a bit, about a tablespoon right on top. And then I'm going to season it with the Kinder's The Blend. And I'm going to pop the asparagus in the oven with our hamburger casserole. Dinner is out of the oven and this smells incredible. I did sprinkle a little bit of dried parsley right on top. I'm going to pull out my asparagus, plate this up, and I'll be back to share dinner, points, and calories. So here is my dinner for tonight. So I'm having some of the hamburger casserole and some yummy asparagus. 
So this is dinner. Again, points, calories, serving sizes, all of the information will be here on the screen for you. For tonight's dinner, I am making a meatball casserole and we're even sneaking in some vegetables. So let me show you what's in dinner. You're going to need minced garlic, salt, dried basil and minced onion, Parmesan cheese, marinara sauce of your choice. I count Rayos as zero points, but you want to make sure you're using a zero point marinara, whether you make it yourself or find one that's zero points for you. You're also going to need a pound of Italian turkey sausage and a pound of 99% ground turkey, a couple of fresh zucchinis, one egg, some Fiesta blend cheese, and some mozzarella cheese. So the first thing we're going to do is actually make up the meatballs. So we're going to add our pound of 99% ground turkey and the pound of the turkey Italian sausage. We're going to add one egg, one cup of shredded mozzarella and one third cup of Parmesan, basil and minced onion, salt, minced garlic, and then we want about a cup of shredded zucchini. So I'm going to shred a couple of small zucchini and that should get us really close to the one cup. This is going to be a great way to sneak in vegetables, but also a great way to make these meatballs nice and moist since we are using quite lean cuts of meat. So we're going to spray our casserole dish with some non-stick cooking spray. You want about a nine by 13 casserole dish. I know I'm going to get some questions on this super cute dish. I got this at Home Goods for like $8. I thought that was an amazing, amazing deal. And then I have my meatball mixture here. So we're going to go ahead and dig in with our hands. This is the not fun part of making meatballs. Mix everything together really well. And then we want to roll out our meatballs and we're looking for about 24 meatballs total. And we're just going to place them in the casserole dish. pulled the meatballs out of the oven. I drained all of the liquid because there was some liquid and some grease in the meatballs. I have one cup of my marinara and I'm just going to pour that right on top. And then we're going to add about a cup of Fiesta Blend, reduced fat Fiesta Blend cheese right on top. We're going back into the 400 degree oven for about 10 to 15 minutes. The last five minutes or so, you can go ahead and pop on the broil if you wanna crisp up and brown the cheese. I just pulled the meatballs out. Oh my gosh, these look so good and they smell delicious. I did go ahead and pop my oven on broil for just a couple of minutes and got that cheese nice and crispy and brown. So I'm going to plate this up. We're going to have leftover mashed potatoes along with some meatballs. So let me plate this up. I'll be back to share points and calories. So here is tonight's dinner. So I have one half of a cup of those Idahoan mashed potatoes and one serving of the meatballs. I will go ahead and put points, calories, serving size, everything here on the screen for you. This looks so delicious. Thank you for joining me for today's double recipe video. I hope you are as excited about these two recipes as I am. And don't forget, you can always find all of my recipes on my website. I will make sure that it is down in the description box for you, along with nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things and my Facebook group. Of course, we'd love to have you come over and join us there as well. Happy Sunday, friends. I hope you enjoyed the two recipes and I'll see you all in tomorrow's meal prep.